personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's missing. You know the rest. It's your boy BT. Listen, this is my Brandon Lee versus Pedro Campa post fire review. It li they, they literally just announced the decision. What a disgraceful decision. Absolutely disgraceful. Pedro Campa, I mean, I thought personally, I, was, I wasn't scoring it, but I thought he did enough to get a nod. But these scorecards are horrible. I, I saw 99-91, 97-92, and they absolutely jobbed him. They had they had no intentions of him giving him a, a fair shake. It was just piss poor scoring from the judges. Uh, first and foremost, let me just say, my hat goes out to Pedro Campa. Um, I thought, like, for a guy that really, you know, has a reputation for being a basic, flat-footed Mexican fighter. I mean, uh, Brandon Lee. I mean, Brandon Lee fought his fight tonight, and I thought in fighting that fight, I thought he lost. I thought Pedro Campo fought the best I've ever, fight I've ever seen him fight. He did a great job of grinding down Brandon Lee, uh, crowding him, outworking him a lot of the rounds, pushing the pressure, pushing the pace, uh, chopping that body. You know, as we say here on True School Sports, he was ser he was serving up those rib really? dinners. He was getting ready to fold him up like a blue steel chair, and um. You know, this fight really raised more questions about Brandon Lee. If, if anything, really, Pedro Campa's stock rose up tonight. Like, like I want to see him in some other fights. Um, I, personally, I, Brandon Lee was saying he wants more tough opponents like Pedro Campa. But why not just fight Pedro Campa again? Because really, that, that, that I know the judges had it wide. Uh, Brandon Lee thought that the judges got it right, of course, because, you know, they gave it to him. But I didn't quite see it that way. I saw one guy... Uh, get out to a good start. I saw the pressure fighter slowly but surely begin to put his uh, imprint on the fight and really uh, press really well against Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee started to like sit on some really nice shots and and um you know he he was effective when he landed those power punches. But I just think like uh, the commentary was very biased towards Brandon Lee. I thought Pedro Campo did a great job of um you know just like like I said pushing the pace. I think. A lot of times in boxing these days, body work is undervalued and people look for the more eye-catching shots. So sometimes, many times, um, the, the the short, sharp, crisp shots on the inside can go very undervalued and very underappreciated in this lovely sport of boxing. But uh, listen, after watching this fight tonight, I can clearly see why Brandon Lee doesn't want to fight Abel Martinez. You know, for those of you who don't know, Abel Martinez, you know, one of the hardest hitting fighters in this division. You know, he he, he did lose the rest of Velasquez, Velasquez last year, but rest of Velasquez is a top fighter. He's going to be probably be a top contender real soon. So there's no shame in that. And he dropped the rest of Velasquez, so it shows you the kind of fighter he, uh, he's capable of being. And he's won fights as the B side and done 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 a lot in a little bit of fights he's had. He's been calling out Brandon Lee for a solid year and a half, and Brandon Lee don't want no smoke. He doesn't oblige the call out. He acts like he doesn't exist. And after what I saw tonight, if that dude would have set the number Abel Martinez, he, he don't got to worry about boxing no more. He would he would he would have been able to put that degree to use that he got that he was showing off on uh, the, the documentary he did. So listen, I like Brandon Lee. I, I still think he can, he can be a decent fighter, a decent French contender. But if you're, if you're talking about him winning any sort of world title, 140, let's just let's just cut it down. And yes, I'm saying it. I'm saying Brandon Lee. If you see this video, because it's kind of my attention that a lot of these fighters. They watch these videos, they get their feelings hurt, they send it to their friends. So my thing is this, if Brandon Lee sees this video, I mean, you can say I like you and I respect you, but I don't think you're winning a world title 140, like straight up. Like you're not, you're not, you're not touching no world title. There's too much heat there for you 140. You got Progray, you got Caterall, you got Ergashev, you got, you know, a lot of top guys in the weight class, Josh Taylor. Um, I just don't see where it's coming from. Sabrina Matias, I mean, I don't, I don't see where it's coming from, you know, so... I think if he's not going to fight Pedro Campa and he wants to fight guys Arnold strong Barbosa. like him, you got Arnold Barbosa, that'd be a good fight. But, you know, that's top rank, so I don't know promotionally if that's, that's right. But, you know, I, I would say, you know, why don't he fight Jukumbayev, the dude, the dude that fought um, Matias and gave him a tough fight. Uh, fight Jukumbayev. Um, oh, Ponce. Jeremias Ponce. Jukumbayev, that's the kind of the, the, the level he needs to be worried about. But tonight's performance really kind of validated my uh, my skepticism of why... Um, Brandon Lee is getting matched so soft. I mean, he, he, you're talking about, what is he, like 28, 29 and 0? Got almost 30 fights, yeah. something like that. He's got almost 30 fights in his career, and it's like, man, you out here, like, I, like, I like Pedro Campa, respect to him. He's a true Mexican warrior. He really earned my respect tonight. Um, but um, if you're a fighter like Brandon Lee, you should not be having all-out wars, going life and death, um, letting a guy like Pedro Campa just serve you up 
and, and fold you and fold you up like he was in the fight. So, um, you know, he gets the win, and at, at, at the end of the day, that that's what it's about uh, for the fighters to get the win. But I don't really see a guy in Brandon Lee that's going to be any legitimate threat to the top guy. So uh, I expect to see more soft matchmaking for the next one to three fights from Brandon Lee. And uh, that will not include guys like Ava Martinez or Jukumbayev or anybody like that. Um, but if, if, if it does, if it does include someone like Ava Martinez or Jukumbayev, then God be with him and may God sharpen his tools because he's really going to need it. So, uh, yeah, Brandon Lee gets the win on Pedro Campa. I, I personally, I'm, I'm not going to say it was robbery because I, I, I don't like throwing that word around. You know, a lot of people like, like, like to get their feelings involved and throw that word around. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say that it was a, it was a close fight. Um, I thought Pedro did enough to get the nod. He didn't. It is what it is. It's boxing. Um, but Brandon Lee has a lot of things that he needs to work on still. And um, I'm, not, I'm not really seeing a fighter that's progressing. So I wish him the best. I'm not riding him off. A fighter can develop fight by fight. We've seen it many times in boxing. So this is not a dead sentence on him. I'm just telling you guys what I think. I'm just, I'm just a boxing fan giving his opinion. And if that makes you sensitive, then you're in the wrong damn sport. So I'm going to leave it at that. Shout out to Brandon Lee. And an extra, extra, extra big shout out goes to Pedro Kevin, who really came and brought the fight tonight to Brandon Lee. Uh, great Mexican pressure grinding style. So, um, yeah, I want to see him in some, some fights. Uh, I think he earned himself some paydays down the stretch. Pedro, Pedro Campbell as his career progresses. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, what did you guys think in the comments down below? Uh, make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me, you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Dane. So until next time, take care. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.